before OTF and Dude Love and them, you know what I'm saying? And what, what's y'all's relationship and how did y'all kind of meet it and shit like that? You know, um, you know, I kind of been in connect with Dirt for a couple of years. We wanted to do a, do a mutual person I know, you know what I'm saying? And you know, I, you know, a couple of years I used to, you know, when, when he link up with Dirt, and I go with him, we'll go to, you know what I'm saying, go to their shows, shit, Jeff Five or whatever. And the time passed, you know, a nigga ended up knowing him a little bit more to the point where, you know, I had to perform with Dirt like two, three, four times, you know what I'm saying, just randomly, you know what I'm saying. Dog like, man, bro, take me, blah, 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 take me, they land them here, you know what I'm saying, Chief Key pulled up one day, let Chief head, and, you know, Dirt, dirt just like, you know, like one day, one, I think it's the first time I was in Tampa, and I was in the club with them, boy, you know what I'm saying, it was at a Dirt show, and I was like, man, what the fuck I'm doing just being here, man, I need to do something productive. So I walked off, and I went to the DJ, and I paid him $100 to play um, a song I had called Vibe Now. You know what I'm saying? And the DJ played it. So I played it, you know, I'm just vibing. And I guess they like, who that is? They like, that's him, let's take off shit, you feel me? So after he was performing this shit, like at the end of his performance, he was just like, hey, hey, hold on, hey DJ, that shit you had played a while ago, run that back. And he played it and he gave me the mic. I'm like, oh shit, that nigga Dirk a real nigga, you know what I'm saying? And I just rocked out, you feel me? And after the first time, and then after that, it happened like two, three more times, you feel me? So long story short, you know, like, I think the last time I seen him, he had Doody Lowe with him, you feel me? And Doody was like, uh, he remembered me from before. He was like, yeah, nigga, I remember he ain't had nothing to change or nothing. I ain't remember, you feel me? But when he said that, I know he wasn't lying. I'm kind of like, damn, he right. The last time I seen him, I ain't had a change or nothing. So I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, me and bro vibing, and my brother and him, you know what I'm saying? They was vibing and shit, you know what I'm saying? So. You know what I'm saying, bro, like, man, bro, growing up, man, tap in with him. You know, but like, like, it's like I told you, I, I'm the type of nigga, like, I just be chilling, bro. We vibe, we vibe, if not, you know, I, it ain't always got to be music. I might not even say nothing to you about no music shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know, bro, like, man, let go. So I'm like, man, fuck it. We was in Miami, you know what I'm saying, bro was in Miami. I'm like, man, let rock out, you know what I'm saying? We shot the video and shit. And I was that, you know what I'm saying? You got a song with Stunner for Vegas. Yeah. Uh, there was an issue with the clearance. What happened with that whole record? What happened with, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, sometimes um, when niggas be doing music, bro, niggas do shit on, on like, niggas so used to doing shit on some street shit that you got to understand with the music shit. It's a business, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you have a street nigga, blah, 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 whatever. But this shit's a business, you know what I'm saying? But how we met up with him, you know what I'm saying? I paid bro his bread. You know, they ain't getting no receipt or nothing like that. We just got the song, shot the video, and I slid. I didn't know any, I didn't really know about the clearance because a nigga signed to a record label and shit like that. I didn't know none of that shit. I'm just like, yeah, man, nigga, I eat rap. Huh? Here you go with that. What you want? Okay, let's shoot the bye, 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 bye. And I, you know, I just be getting shit done. So I didn't really, I went, I ain't really know like about the clearance shit until it was time to put it up now and they were blocking certain shit. And I'm just like, damn, what the fuck going on? And I understood it, and then somebody told me, bro, these rap niggas be doing features, you know what I'm saying? And don't be, uh, uh, like, letting their labels know, you know what I'm saying? I guess it's like back yeah. money, extra money, that, you know what I'm saying? They don't want the labels to make, uh, to know about it or whatever. So, long story short, how that shit went, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't no pressure. They handled, they handled, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we stayed on their chest, you know what I'm saying? They handled that, and that shit got put out, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Y'all got any more music on the way? That was just that one, you know what I'm saying? That was something like that. Ain't, ain't, no, ain't no telling, ain't no telling, you know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no telling, bro, you feel me? Like, Thunderful Vegas straight though, I fuck with dog. Like, I done seen them comment on some shit, like, say to you, posted on me. I, I got another, uh, I had seen them tag me on Instagram. He was jamming a uh, remix I had did uh, called Trap Stop. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, for fucking with me, after the feature, you know, sometimes after the feature, you might not hear from these rappers, you know what I'm saying? But, bro, fucking with me after, so, you know, ain't no telling what the future holds, you know?